Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Remember the rant about the $55 strawberries? I got Howie to stop at the grocery store on his way home in Ottawa. These were $1.99. He got eight of them. So that is $16 worth of strawberries. Now let me tell you something about that market. Let's put these in here. Okay, see this? That's the size of two or four of these strawberry packages. The flat was only this big. And then the $30 flat was only this big. So, I got this in this flat for $16. They tell you to shop local, but watch where you're shopping local from because they just go in the city and buy it and then bring it up and sell it in their roadside stands. Shop grocery stores. That's the man who brought home the strawberries. Okay, so here's our strawberries. And I'm gonna take six cups of these and put them in the blender. Okay, in here I have six cups of strawberries and a quarter cup of lemon juice. And I'm just gonna pull it, because Howie doesn't like chunks in his jam. Now remember folks, you never use more than six cups of fruit when you're doing jelly or jam without pectin. Why? Because it won't thicken properly. So six cups berries, quarter cup of lemon juice. Alrighty. Now let's see why I met, see when I, I measured it before I put it in the blender. When the chunks were in the blender, it was like nine cups. Now that it's pureed, it says five. So that's why you measure the berries separately first. And now I've added six cups of organic sugar. No, the berries aren't organic, but the sugar is. And we're gonna stir this. Put a piece of butter in there just to help it from foaming. Now, see when I blended the strawberries and the sugar and let it sit, it makes it much more easy to get working on jam. So we're gonna bring this up to a boil. So here are five pint jars. They're getting ready to be boiled. They're in water and vinegar with a wire rack in the bottom. Here's some more jars as we need them. Our, our rings and of course our four jars canning lids washed and in sitting in warm water. All right it's starting to boil and toil and toil and trouble and bubble and so now we want to get this up to a rolling boil folks. And that means you can't stir it down. This is another reason why you only use so much berries and sugar. Even with the butter on it, it's going to boil up and almost overflow. This is a rolling boil. A rolling boil is a boil you cannot stir down. So we're going to continue to stir this for about 10 to 15 minutes. We're going to take our metal spoon and we're going to dip it and it's almost sheeting. Almost there folks. All right, I'm going to switch burners now. Put my canning jars on there. 
because this burner is smaller but it's still going to continue to boil on high because we had it up to a good boil. Okay, we're taking our hot jar. We're going to put our canning funnel in here. We have our little rag dipped in vinegar from our jar. I'm going to take our measuring cup. I'm going to scoop our jam. Fill our jars to one inch to a half inch from the top. Make our next jar out of the canner in there. There we go. Always, always, always wipe your rims. I had these in. I just poured boiling water over them when I rinsed, after I rinsed them. Now these are hot, folks, so grab the jar with your grippers. Put these on fingertip tight. That does not mean tighten with a tightening machine or anything else. No muscle men, just that tight. And into the jar it goes. And we get on our next one. Out comes another jar. And if there isn't enough to fill a jar, we always save some in a side jar to test after the fact. The mess this makes. As always, clean hot lid, jar grippers, and into the canner that goes. Here's my last three jars in the canner, and they're only going in there for about 10 minutes because they went, so they went into scalding hot jars, scalding hot jam, so they only need to be in there for 10, 15 minutes. Now listen, folks. Well, I'll tell you in a minute. And that's it. Yeah, I'm sweating. I'm going for a swim as soon as the sun goes completely down. I got 10 jars of jam. Nine for the pantry and a tenth for the, that's going in the fridge. Now listen, if you're going to do this recipe, which is six cup of berries, six cup of sugar, let these set without disturbing them. Don't move them. Don't shake, shake them. Don't tip them to see if they're set. This will take 24 to 48 hours to set. 10 jars of jam, $16 worth of strawberries, and $13 worth of sugar gives me a pint of jam at $2.90. Where's the savings in that? Most cheap store-bought jams? Well, let's put it this way. When you do this with Serto, they want you to use seven cups of sugar to four to five cups of fruit. This is 50-50, no extra pectin, so it's packed with fruit. Better for you and organic sugar. So, uh, you know, we gotta, we gotta pick our battles, right? This one's for the fridge, so I didn't boil bath can it, but guess what? It's sealed anyway. Because why? Four jars lids always pop. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying, yes! Strawberry jam for winter. Take care, God bless. And remember folks, if you're a home canner and you're not trying four jars canning lids, you are missing out. These are heavier than any other disposable lid on the market. They are a US company and if you order over $100, your shipping is free. Check in the description box below this video for a link to four jars canning lids and use the coupon code half acre, all one word in capital letters for 10% off. Check them out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for ideas and recipes. Four jars canning lids, you can't go wrong.